Paz y respetos. Full blast. Mich pan seco tlo. Deshpa in Nahua. Greetings to all. Gracias for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, man. I highly appreciate you guys taking the time to acknowledge this humble, handsome essay. Puro pedo, puro pedo, you know? Anyhow, man, it feels good to be back on track to all my auntie on the on the tubo. Hey, hopefully everybody's doing good, staying out of trouble. I saw the stain on the grind, make the feria, smoke a seat. Anyhow, so every, hopefully everybody's situated. Ya sabes, homies, you know the ritual. Kick your feet up, relax, and uh, a little uh, cool pisto. You know, hear me out, hear me out. Sometimes, you know, in life we got up and downs. You know, every day we face a challenge. Every day we wake up, we gotta be thankful. So, um, man, you know, uh, first and foremost, man, gotta say that uh, before anything I'm human I'm a human being just like you we all breathe the same air we all eat and sleep you know what I'm saying and ain't nobody better than nobody now if you don't sleep eat and all that good stuff then damn must be a god or yeah, uh, you better go to a doctor and check yourself homie because uh, <laughs> some, something uh, <laughs> something weird going on on uh, ching out <coughs> anyway warrior I don't mean uh, get your gun or get your knife and uh, put on a fucking ski mask and let's go and beat up the next man no 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 not at all man when I say uh, the warrior mentality or saludos to my warriors out there is uh, we're all warriors in this world. Life is war. Life is a struggle. Every day is a battle. Every day is a daily challenge that we gotta conquer and try to stay on a positive note. Because a lot of us fall for temptation. We fall for uh, the easy stuff and what happened we, we fall back on, on on the same road we were we were coming from and we gotta start all over again this and not only that but uh, we got the good and the bad those thoughts that cross our mind you know we gotta we gotta fight within ourselves to conquer the evil to conquer the bad you know, part of us wants to not give a fuck. Me vale verga, me vale madre, chinga su madre, fuck it, vamonos recio. Quien quiere pedo. You know, but then again, it's like, dude, come on, homie, look at yourself in the mirror, dog. How old are you, that's it. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I mean when I say warrior mentality, you know. It's all, it's, it's a mental war, it's a spiritual war. Uh... And I know that not anybody could hear this message. You, you know, I'm not saying that you gotta be special to understand, nah. It's only a certain few that could see, that could hear. You know, me entiendes? Because uh, there's individuals that are not ready yet. And when you're ready, believe, man, my boy, you're gonna see that and you're gonna appreciate it. Don't let it be too late, because when it's gone, it's gone, homie. So, warriors, animal, keep, keep that chin up on me, and, and don't let nobody or anything put you down whatsoever. With practice, homie, we we get it, we get it going, we get it going. You know, it becomes a, a habit, it becomes a daily thing, and, and and next thing you know, you don't even have to put thought to it, homie. It comes out naturally. I believe we live in a world. Uh, we live in uh, numerous worlds. I believe there's portals. You know, there's a portal to the spiritual world. There's a portal to the mental world. Emotional world. Just like there's good and evil, there's another portal to that. So we gotta be aware of our surroundings, our circumstances. Uh, we 
we were born with the weapon. God blessed us with the big weapon. And I'm not talking about a gun, a bazooka, a la chancla. <laughs> I'm not talking about a uh, uh, or none of that. A weapon we've been blessed and everybody has it is our brain. God blessed us with the biggest weapon and that's our brain, homie. We're the only animal in this goddamn world that knows how to reason, logic. That, that's what distinguishes us from a dog, from an animal. We know how to reason, homie. Therefore, let's put more thought into things and, and try to, uh, you know, pump their brakes, slow down, homie, you know? Ain't no need to be in a hurry. We got nothing but time, homie. Nothing but time. On the grind, on the clock, we stay. Que no es Wanna talk about a uh, little bit about life and how short it, life is, and and uh, and how some of us are blessed to be here longer than others. And sometimes it's questionable. It's like, man. Why did he uh, only allow this certain individual to be here for a month, two months, uh, 10 years, 20 years? Man, she died, she was just a baby. Oh, wow. Hey, that individual got to see and experience and enjoy life. To die at 80, man, I wish I could live that long and uh, I've been thinking lately about about death last night I had a dream that uh, that I, I got that I got killed <laughs> I woke up I had a nightmare but it was it was a trip because uh, in my dream I was walking with my wife like down the hill bunch of people going about their day but I don't know where people started surrounding me like it, I was in a yard like a prison yard and and then a lot of these faces were familiar faces like homies that I met seen before even family so it was weird how they were calling me and I kind of knew already like okay I know what time is it I, I'm gonna do my best to I recollect my thoughts on that. Uh, these bottles got around me and they were like, what's up, you know what time is? And I was like, pretty much, I know that in my heart, I was kind of like, whoa, I felt fear. Like, whoa, they're gonna kill me. I seen guns, I seen big old knives. But then, I don't know where I got courage in my heart where I was like, fuck it. Vamonos resto, let's do this. You know, I, I, I felt in my dream like this sense of strength like urge like fuck it you know you about to start gonna do me I'm I'm gonna I'm go out with the bang so somehow in the dream I I had a knife on me I, I don't know if I took one from them and I remember they were surrounding me and trying to throw a little punch or whatever and I was over here dodging and weaving and shit and uh and, and I recall them giving me that look like orale like damn you, you got heart on me like all right, all right. You know what I mean? This about to throw him back. He's not just balling up. But in my dream, I was like, man, I ain't gonna give up. Fuck that, I'm gonna fight to the end. I'm gonna go out with the bang, and I did. You know, I felt like I got stabbed. Finally, they got, they shot me, but like, it was weird because I'm waiting. Like, I'm, I'm looking at all this, being shot, stabbed, whatever. I'm waiting, like in my mind, at the time I'm waiting to just disconnect from, from everything, you know? I was waiting for a different world, I guess. Uh, uh, I was waiting to feel pain, to see blood. I don't know. Pretty much, this is what I'm getting at. Death. Why is it that most people are afraid of death? 
Well, I could tell you pretty much my my theory, my point of view. I heard different things as well. I think that uh, people are people are afraid of death because death is the unknown. No one's ever died and came back and said, "Hey, it's nice over there, man. Why don't?" Man, we should all go together. Fuck it. The afterlife. Fuck, man. You don't have to work. Free food. Party every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just my little sarcasm. But um, you get what I'm saying? Like, I think, you know, maybe it's not so much uh, being afraid of death. I think people are just scared in uh, the way they're gonna die. Is it gonna be tragic? Is it gonna be an accident? Is it gonna be while you're asleep? I mean, is it gonna be a, 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 a virus, a disease? Is it gonna be painful, non-painful? Uh, you worried for your family? Are they gonna be okay? Are, are they gonna be able to... Uh, uh, the kids are gonna are they gonna be able to eat? I mean, there's so much that goes through your mind, you know. So, I mean, that could be a a factor in why people uh, are afraid of death, and maybe the de departing from your loved ones. Uh, I'll see you. Pretty much in the afterlife. I'll see you in a few years or whatever it takes. I mean, no one has ever said that. Who knows if we're, if we're ever going to see each other. People talk about reincarnation, coming back as a bird, as a jaguar, as a, as a, a fucking roach. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you, you get what I'm saying? Um, there's different beliefs. There's different perspectives. Um, different countries, different cultures see death. In a whole different way. Look at the Bible. You know, it talks about a, a afterlife. It talks about a heaven and hell. And uh, I think Buddhism talks about re reincarnation, awareness. So everybody in the you know every human being has different perspectives, different beliefs, different ways of viewing death. And of course, I mean, the way we go out is like, damn, it hurts. Pain is a, a, a trauma. Pain could cause trauma. Pain is just no bueno. So ain't nobody want to feel pain. I mean, hey, you got people, yeah, that like to get fucking spanked and, you know, get, get their hair pulled and this and that, but okay, that's a whole different fucking topic right there. Oh. <laughs> Inky, freaky, freaky. <laughs> they viewed death as something to embrace. Death is everywhere. You know, death could be this car. Death could be uh, that house, that door. Death could be the tires. Death is, death is everywhere. And and you might wonder, like, why, man, why is he saying death is everywhere? Death is a car. Well, I mean, the way I look at it is like, okay, that car could run over you, kill you. That car could hit you, kick your car and could kill you. That means you're gone, you're dead. An accident, accidents happen. Death could be uh, something you drink, the juice, water, food, within time. It has chemicals, bacteria that could mess you up. I mean, just that's just a little example. You know, whatever makes sense to you, I guess, you embrace. Anyhow, that's why it's important, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, acknowledge our, our, our loved ones, our friends, and let them know how much you love them and how much you respect them. Because um, you never know. Tomorrow's never promised. You don't know if we're going to be here or what. 
Yeah, so death, death, you know, uh, wouldn't be death without life, and life wouldn't be life without death. It's almost like a negative and a positive. Uh, death is part of life, and it, and it's a uh, you know uh, something to think about. Uh, we all have an expiration day. We all have a day where we're gonna depart from this life, from this earth, and there, there's no telling. There's no telling where we're going, our destination. Is there really an afterlife? Is there really a heaven, a, a hell? Uh, it, it, it's a trip. It's a big trip because you just just don't know when when it's gonna be our last day on this earth. That's why they say, hey, every day you should live it like if it was your last. Almost like. You know how when you're getting ready to uh, leave a company or you're gonna celebrate an accomplishment, your birthday, or you know, every day should be embraced and celebrated just like that. I'm not saying to get pedo every day and <laughs> all the cool things and not give a fuck. No, 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 you know. There's always different ways to enjoy life and celebrate life other than just getting all bad and you know what's up. You know, spend time with your familia, with your wife, your, your girl, your girlfriend, your, your sisters, your, your carnales, your jefita, your dad, your loved ones, period. Even homies. Good friends that have been there through good or bad. You gotta learn how to celebrate them and enjoy them. Because you never know, tomorrow's not promised. Death could come and snatch you up. Whether it could be you or them. Hey, but one thing you could say is you won't have regrets because you know what? You got to enjoy your, your loved one your good friend you got to tell them that you love them that you respect them and admire them yeah I know sometimes we have a lot of pride and, and that's a man's downfall our pride they don't get us nowhere and 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 I'm not gonna lie I'm I I struggle to this day sometimes my pride gets in between and down the line, it's like, man, I feel like doing this. I should have, I should have said this. But then again, it's like my pride. Like, man, I'm not gonna show no weakness. You know, fuck it. He could be dying deep inside. He could be burning, hurting. Like, oh, pero. It's like, kind of shine it on. Ah, fuck it. It's all good, man. I'll be all right. I'll survive. But don't kill us, makes us stronger. Get no. So, life is beautiful, life is short, homies. Homies and home girls. I guess it's what you make of it, right? Just thought I'd make this video on, on, on that uh, topic about death. How is it that you view death? What's your perspective? What's your take on it? death. I'm not talking about La Santa Muerte. That's a whole different topic. With all respect to people's beliefs and, and religions and stuff, I'm talking about death, like the day we die. You know, most of us were in our mother's womb for what, eight, nine months. There's some preemies out there, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, so that's the uh, the process. 
and now we're born into life we're here and there's another process but some of us get a get to stay longer uh, in this process some of us like I said earlier we're only here for a, a day or two 10 10 weeks 10 10 years 20 80 90 some of us get a longer process than others and only God knows why uh, have you ever thought that maybe life could be a process to, the, to get us ready to our next phase? I mean, what could it be? Whoa. You ever wonder what death would be like? Are we still going to suffer? Are we still going to feel pain? Are we going to feel love, emotion, hate? Are we going to depend on a substance, food, liquids to live, survive? I mean, is there going to be uh, rules, laws, policies, uh, structure? Are we all going to get along? Is there going to be different races, different species, animals? It's a trip. What is death for like? Some people make death look like scary, like uh, painful. They uh, they may they make it sound and look bad, but like I told, like but like I said earlier, uh, I think it falls back on the way we, we die, we're gonna die. I think that's the the, the biggest worry. It's not so much of dying, because at the end of the day, I met people that were scared to die, but once they made their peace with uh, God or whoever they believe in, they were just ready to go, ready to go. And it's amazing how it works, because you hear stories of people being on their deathbed, and they say that when you start already getting close to passing away, you start seeing some of your loved ones that are dead calling you, coming to embrace you and take you. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, I've, I've heard stories. So, overall, I mean, you know, uh, I don't think that life just ends like that. Like, man, this big old creation, this big world, are we really the only ones here? I mean, there's got to be more to this. There's got to be more to this little short, beautiful life. Like, yeah. And the little encounters and how people see ghosts, spirits, whether they're evil or angels, all that right there is not a coincidence, I think. We might be living in numerous worlds combined in one, if that makes sense. And somehow, some way, we come like come across each other, and that's where you see spirits, ghosts, dead people, or evil, you know, demons, angels, whatever. There's more to this. Whether if it's a secret, whether if it's out there, or I don't know. Uh, something to look into, you know, dwell upon. And uh, hey, maybe someday somebody discovers that uh, mysterious uh, word called death. Maybe one day somebody could die and come back and say hey this is what you got to look forward to maybe it's just the way that you die that you gotta kind of take care of yourself I don't think nobody wants to suffer 
Anyhow, with that said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, crazy, thoughtful uh, video of mine. It's been a while, so you know, it's always a pleasure to come across you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. Let me know if you guys want me, want me to touch on a certain subject, whatnot. But uh, everybody, man, remember, life is short. Live your your every day like if it was your last. Enjoy your familia, your loved ones, your friends. Because uh, that's all we have. Beautiful memories. Remember, the past is dead. The future does not exist. Enjoy the moment. That's what it's about. Manny, the Jaguar Paul, mucho gusto, much love and respect. Amen.